Hello everyone, welcome to today's pick a card. We're going to be doing a Halloween themed pick a card all about messages from your past loved ones. If you have loved someone and lost them, I am so sorry for you. I lost someone myself um, almost 12 years ago now. Well, 12 years ago at the time of posting this. October can be a very difficult month for me. Um, but also a magical month because my birthday and Halloween. Um, but yeah, I completely understand your pain. I lost my mom almost 12 years ago. Um, so let's get into the picking. Um, pile, for pile number one, we have this beautiful piece of Labradorite. It's an oval piece. And it's like very um, flashy is what they call it in the crystal world. So you can see different colors within it, like blues and greens. Uh, yeah, and I will be also adding a sound now for you to pick from if you can't see the crystals for the card. Okay, that was your sound. Now for pile number two, we have this beautiful piece of sunstone. It's an orb and it's orange and um, like a light orange and, a, and then like dark orange spots. It's a sunny piece of sunstone. Um, and I got this from my friend um, online and her name is Clara. Thank you so much, Clara. Then let's get into your sound now. Okay, so pile number three. Your crystal is the smoky quartz. Um, absolutely love this. I don't even remember when I got it, but I love it. Um, it's a smoky quartz and it's clear on the bottom and it gets from like a light gray to a dark for like coal color <laughs> on the top point. And this is your sound. sunstone so it's much like the other sunstone piece and it's like pale orange but then it has a lot more darker orange um, spots and it has a few black spots on it as well and it's a tower and here is your sound Okay, so thank you so much, and you can go to the timestamps below to pick your piles, and I will see you in your messages! Okay, pile number one. If you chose pile number one, this is your reading. Are your messages from a past loved one? So with these tarot cards, we're going to try to get some messages from them and hopefully kind of figure out who it is. You'll probably know better than I do. Okay.
this might actually just be telling us who this person is. It's kind of the vibe I'm feeling so far. We are going to draw some oracle cards as well for additional messages. Right now I'm getting a feeling of a lot of pain. This person went through a lot of pain. May have even... Okay. They may have even put you in some pain. I'm feeling um, someone from your childhood with the Six of Cups here. I'm feeling like you grew up with this person. This person may have raised you. I'm seeing like a father figure or a mother or something like that. And my heart goes out to you for sure being um, an orphan. Um, wow. So deep into it already. Okay, so I feel like this person struggled a lot with their anxiety. This person was constantly anxious about money. Constantly anxious, constantly surrounded by people as well. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting so far. Man, this is really interesting. Okay. Hmm. I do feel like they were pretty young when they passed. Like it was very unexpected. I do feel like they were in a position of power. Um, and with this hair fit being in reverse, that's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm like, I'm feeling like this feeling in my stomach. Oh, like I don't want this position, but I have to do this uh, for my family or something like that. Huh, interesting. They had a lot of mindset issues and they had a lot to be happy for and a lot of people that loved them and surrounded them, but they struggled so much with their mindset and with balancing money as well. This is very interesting. These cards always just come out so, so interesting, man. Okay, so I'm seeing something happen to them. For some of you, this could be, okay, I keep seeing like prison bars or jail bars or something, but some of you, this person went away for some time. Um, if this resonates, please drop a comment. Because this is very specific. But yeah, I am really getting like a paternal figure. Parental figure. I keep saying paternal. It could be it could be a father for a lot of you. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, I just got a direct message from them in my mind. And they said they don't want you to struggle with finances the way they struggled with it. And then they just said, life is abundant, live it. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, that's kind of funny. Okay, anything else? No, they just went silent. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm really feeling called to like pull some more cards or something about this because I just feel like there's not enough known. So I'm going to get a deck. Which deck do I want? Let me get the deck this came from. Everyone else ended up with so many more cards than I was expecting and you guys had like the least cards. So I don't really feel bad doing this. <laughs> Anything else from this spirit that we should know about? Anything else from the spirit we should know about? Yeah, okay. Interesting. 
anything else from this spirit. These cards are a little bit messy. I did not know that. Okay. Okay, so for some of you, this person was in a position to travel um, or did travel. They traveled somewhere, transferred somewhere, something about moving. Um, but it makes me feel like really sick in my gut. Like, uh, yeah, so I'm seeing like, I'm seeing something. I'm seeing so specific but I'm seeing a heart on a map okay and then like little lines like it's going away from the heart and the person just keeps moving away from the heart but it's like a blob is the person it's not like another heart or anything does that make sense to anyone because it doesn't make sense to me like maybe they were if they were in Jail or prison, they may have been transferred to another place farther away from you. Yeah. And doing this, they had no money, no promissory note, anything. This is so specific. This is so specific. So I hope whoever chose this pile, if it doesn't resonate with you, go pick another pile. Um, I'm not going to worry about it though, because this is what's coming through. Okay, so they didn't have any money for anything. And with the world card here being like turned upside down. <sighs> wow. Okay, so the world. I just saw, I just heard like you were their world. Yeah, so you were their world. They had to go farther away from their world. You were the little heart on the map. So, yeah, that's interesting. So I hope that kind of tells you who this person is. Um, let's get into some oracle cards to see what messages they want to give you. Because that's what I'm feeling called to do. We're going to start with the Scribes of Fate deck. Let me know if you guys like it to where I'm shuffling in the video or if you like me having pulled the cards beforehand. Or if you just don't give a fuck. <laughs> just say, I don't give a fuck. And I'll know what you mean. Okay. Any messages from this person to their person they're talking to in this video? Any messages for them? Advice? Anything you want to say to them? Again, I'm being called to go back into the tarot card. I'm sorry. This energy is a little all over the place. So, I don't know. Maybe they had like ADHD or something. Which, you know, I relate. Don't have ADHD, but I am autistic. Okay. So, I really feel like this one wanted to come out too. These are messages from them. For you. Wow, these are some beautiful messages. So we got here the High Priestess. Ooh, I just got like this pain in the side of my head when I touched that card. I don't know if you deal with headaches or not, maybe. I don't know. Um, could just be me, because <laughs> I deal with headaches. Um, let's see. Okay, I just heard... They want you to stop holding back from life. So with the High Priestess here and the Queen of Cups in reverse. I can feel that you've been blocked off emotionally because of this situation, this passing. You've been blocking your heart. That little heart on the map that was so beautiful and pink and red has turned to like a stony color. I'm not saying your heart is stone. I'm just saying, like, 
your brightness has dimmed because you're not releasing. They want you to learn to release those emotions to not hold on to them anymore. I am so sorry if you hear that. I live on a farm right now with my aunts. So if you hear weird chicken sounds, that's why. Okay. Anyway, I'm <laughs> sorry. That's so distracting. Um, yeah, they want you to stop holding yourself back. From feeling your emotions they know you're a highly intuitive and empathetic empathetic person empath empathic person as well couldn't get the word out for some reason so maybe they're meant empathetic but you're highly intuitive as well um yeah and there's something you want to go towards there's something that's been calling you calling you hard, calling your name in the middle of the night with your thoughts, you know what I'm saying? That kind of calling. And they want you to just go for it. They believe in you. They believe that you can do this. They believe that you are capable of this. And so we have here, okay, it's going to blow your mind. You're the high priestess, queen of cups. Knight of Pentacles, okay, if you go towards this thing, we've got the Page of Wands, okay, you're learning, you're leaning into those passions, you're being authentic, you're, you're really cultivating those skills that you need to cultivate to do this thing, and we have the motherfucking magician, okay, <laughs> the motherfucking magician, this is literally why my videos are rated 18 and plus, because of all the cussing. Anyway, <laughs> so we have the magician, okay? Like, you are the motherfucking magician. They want you to know that. Like, you can do anything. Stop holding yourself back because these blocks emotionally, just like this eight of swords. I almost said your dad. <laughs> Whoever this person was is to you. It might not have been your dad. They also had this problem right? Because they got the eight of swords. They were blocked with their mindset. I said that earlier. I didn't go into detail, but their mindset was blocking them. They chose this path of leadership that they didn't want. They maybe even ended up in up in that place. I don't know, but that's kind of the feeling I'm getting. Um, you know, four reasons that they had but they didn't believe in themselves, basically. They didn't believe in themselves. They didn't believe that they could get out of the Eight of Swords energy. All right, and the Eight of Swords energy is all about, you know, realizing you're the one who can free yourself. You're the one who can free yourself. And it's a hard fucking card to get out of, let me tell you. Let me tell you how many times I've gotten Eight of Swords. So many times. So I understand how hard it is to move past that fear of knowing that you are fucking enough, okay? And I just got chills with that. You are enough just the way you motherfucking are. I'm cussing a lot during this reading. <laughs> I don't usually do this much, so maybe your person had a sailor mouth, and I love it. I'm here for this energy, okay? So you can do anything. You're capable of anything. You're the motherfucking magician, okay? Um, yeah, so, sorry, a name just popped in my head. I don't want to say the name in case it's wrong or something. I don't know. It's just weird. Um, okay, I'll say the name. If someone's name is Clara and they're watching this, which is crazy because I think I, you know, Pretty sure, <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, okay, they just let me say it. So, if you're watching this, Clara, know that you're the motherfucking magician. That's it, okay? I don't know. If someone comments and their name is Clara, I'm going to, like, freak out. That's going to be weird. Anyway. Um, 
So again, let's get into the Oracle cards now because now I'm feeling called to. Also, my palms are itching. So if you're like um, expecting some money or if you're not expecting some money, the money's going to come to you eventually. And especially if you move towards this. Okay, whoa. Now they're talking through the Oracle cards. Now we're talking. Oh my gosh. What did I motherfucking say? <laughs> okay, connect to heart. Connect to those emotions. Strength. Take risk. The warrior. You are a fucking warrior. Take a risk with this passion. Go towards this endeavor. Go towards this endeavor because you can do it. You can climb, climb the fucking mountain. You can do it. Okay? Um, we also have the strength card here. So, I'm going to be so embarrassed of no one named Clara comments. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I got to stop thinking. Okay. Um, we have the strength card here and connect to heart. Uh, yeah, be strong enough to know you're still strong even if you cry. You're still strong even if you sob. You're still strong even if you have a panic attack, you're still strong. Do you know how strong you have to be to get through a panic attack? Okay, trust me, you gotta be really fucking strong. All right, I have panic attacks all the time and it's a lot. And I have strength tattooed on my fucking back, <laughs> literally. <laughs> the word strength tattooed on my back. So yeah, you are so strong. It's okay to feel, it's okay to heal. It's okay to release, okay? And the way to release is not by being like, oh, I want to release this thing. No, the way to release is to feel the thing, okay? Feel it as much as you can fucking feel it. Cry as much as you can cry. You know, I get it if it's really hard for you to show your emotion. I'm a Scorpio, I, I get it, and I've got a lot of emotional trauma, so I get it. Um, but the thing is, and this is advice from my own therapist mouth, <laughs> crying is healthy. Crying is actually good for you. Crying releases cortisone, which is the stress hormone. So the more you cry, the better you feel. Okay, crying is really good for you. So cry as much as you want. It doesn't make you weak. It does not make you weak. Um, yeah. And if you're crying during this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I made you cry, but good for you for crying. Okay, anything else from this deck? Whoa, we don't want the whole deck to fall out. Let's try not to be so intense. Okay, they want to be intense. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Reflect. Ancestor. Ooh, trust. Underworld. Uh, oh my gosh, the void. Man, you got a lot of emotional healing to go through, but I get it. Get wild, dare to dream, movement, the creator. That's crazy. You know the creator is literally the magician in this deck? Like, I mean, this isn't a tarot deck, but the creator and the magician are like one and the same. You know what I mean? So it's like a wand just like the magician has. So... That's crazy. You got the magician twice, basically. So, that's crazy. So, we have Reflect. But then we also had Ancestors come out. And I feel like they want to re you to reflect on, like, your familiar line. Because I, I do feel very strong family vibes with this pile. If I've not mentioned it a hundred times by now. Um, I feel very strong family vibes with this pile and whether they are um whether they are like blood related or not doesn't fucking matter it's family you know so they want you to reflect on 
this line of people, whoever they are to you. And they want you to trust that you can do different. That you can do differently. Okay? And they want you to really listen to that take a risk card because we also have the get wild card here. They want you to do something crazy. Go out on the town. Do something fun for yourself. Have you been neglecting your self-care? Have you been neglecting leaving your house or your workspace or whatever? Almost said your studio. <laughs> That's me because I'm an artist, but I don't have a studio anymore. But anyway, um, yeah, they just want you to get kind of crazy and do something for you. Do something for you. I just, I'm really seeing like lights flashing like a club or something. I don't know. Maybe you're into that kind of thing. That would be like hell for me personally. But if that's your vibe, <laughs> if that's your vibe, go out there and do it, honey. As long as you're being safe, you know? Um, as long as you're being safe and you're not doing anything that's bad for you, personally, okay? Um, and then we also have the underworld, shadow, and the void. Like, one after the motherfucking other. So, there's a lot here... With the underworld here, I'm really being drawn to the chains, like on the hands, like the strings on the hands, like the barbed wire around the wrist. I am really getting like those Eight of Swords vibes. Like they're saying you're going to have to go deep to release this. And that's usually how it is. I mean, this is usually how it is. Um, they really, really want you to... Focus on your shadow work right now. And shadow work, if you don't know what that is, all it is, is, um, sorry, I lost total focus right now. <laughs> I lost so much focus. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm all over the place today. So shadow work is basically like therapy <laughs> is kind of how I explain it. It's like when you go to therapy and you have to like talk about like, the deeper, darker parts of yourself and your therapist, like, hug your inner child and all that, you know what I mean? It's like going through those wounds and also seeing, like, the parts of yourself that you maybe don't want to necessarily acknowledge, like, if you're doing something out of ego. Um, I'm being called to bring up an example recently that I just went through. I just realized that I was... Okay, so all my life, I have just been, like, really helpful to people. Like, I've always tried so hard to help people, and it always made me feel so good about myself. And I realized recently that I wasn't doing it for other people. I was doing it for me to feel self-worth because I felt worthless. Um, and that's a whole other story, which we're not going to get into. You have to pay for my pain, you know? <laughs> Unless you're my therapist, then I have to pay you for it. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really funny. Um, okay, so basically they want you to work on shadow work. So like, you know, acknowledging your ego, acknowledging the shadow aspects of yourself, releasing things that, you know, you've been holding on to about yourself. Maybe... Maybe those are limiting beliefs. Maybe those are purposes. I just heard self-purposes. Maybe there was something you felt like you were supposed to do and you didn't do it and you've been feeling guilty about it. Maybe release that. Maybe that's not what you're supposed to do or it would have fucking happened, you know? Um, or if it is something you want to do, then go for it. Um, so we also have the void here. And the void... We all know the void, you know, the void is where you feel like nothing is, nothing matters, everything is meaningless, you know, kind of situation. But I think what they're saying is you're going to have to go through these stages of feeling, these releasing, these acknowledging, acceptance, you know, feeling the void, which is such a terrible feeling to feel, and I understand, um, 
to get through this. But you can get through this. Okay, you can get through this. We have here dare to dream and movement. They really want you to go towards that dream we've been talking about. They really want you to just go for it and to know that you're a badass with the creator here. You can create anything. The only thing holding you back is those mindsets and limiting beliefs. And, you know, just go through that. Take baby steps. Okay, you don't have to do it all at once. Just take baby steps towards this. And you can do this. Okay, so I'm going to see if we have any more cards that want to come out in my other deck. And if not, then we'll sign off. But we're going to see. other messages for pile number one. Okay. Okay. Wow. So we have prosperity. As the tree grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. What this is giving me is like that strength card, like as you go through these things, you're going to prosper more, not just in the material world, but in the spiritual world, like, um, like the emotional world is what I'm trying to like say, I think, um, as well as karmically, you know, of course, um, then we have divine guidance, whispers from the beings who shine, let their message be clear and kind. So... This person wants to connect with you. That's the feeling I'm getting. That's the message I'm getting from this card. I'm seeing you sitting in front of a candle, cross-legged, and meditating and trying to communicate with them. Uh, you may receive images or thoughts or um, visuals, like words, songs, you know, hearing something. They want you to connect with them and they also want you to, to connect to like the divine more like whatever that is to you um and they want you to basically i just heard they want you to get through this with spirit so they just want you to know that spirit's on your side or god or the universe or whatever it is you believe in they're on your side and to Listen to the signs, you know, trust your intuition, basically. Then we have healing. Candle flame, burn this hour, bring to me your healing power. And then we have safe home. I cast a circle roundabout. Safety now is beyond doubt. So all of this healing you're going to be going through, it's going to be making you feel safer. It's going to be making you feel like... Um, so I just got distracted. There's three, three, and three. Threes might be important to you. Also nines, we have... <clears throat> okay, sorry about that pile number one. As I was saying, we have 29, 39, 38, and the number three. Threes and nines may be significant, they may not be. Um, also the number 12. Oh wait, no, it's the number 11 and the number 12. And then the number 11 again. Oh. I can't do math right now. <laughs> it's 3 plus 8. Yeah, okay, I'm right. 11, 11, 12. That's crazy. Okay. Anyway, your video got cut off because my phone doesn't like to record for too long, I guess. Um, 
So I don't think we got to the hero and the rest of the poem card on video. So, basically, with the healing and the safe home card, I feel like all of this healing you're going to be going through, all of this emotional release you're going to be going through, is going to bring you into feeling like you're home again. Feeling like home is within yourself, because... That all, that's all the home is. I used to have, oh my gosh, this hand is flickering so much. That means the message is very on point for you, I think. Um, you need to really pay attention. But basically, I lost focus. <laughs> I used to have this problem where I would think that I would never feel home ever again unless I went to the ocean because the ocean every time I see the ocean it feels like home even though I am literally landlocked and like I've never seen the ocean in person but that's what I thought and when I would get really upset I would repeat over and over I just want to go home I just want to go home and yeah, I realized recently after literally becoming homeless, because <laughs> I am literally homeless um, right now, gratefully I am able to live with a family member while I find a place, but I am still technically homeless. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> I realized that home is within me all along and that I am my own home and wherever I'm at is my home you know and I think you're going to be coming to this realization I think that's what your person wants to tell you also is that you're safe and you are your own home and going through all this healing will help you sorry it's like 2 a.m. right now. <laughs> Going through all this healing will help you to realize you are your own home and you can do anything. You're the fucking magician, like we talked about. You're the fucking magician. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself ever, ever again. Easier said than done. I fucking know it. <laughs> but. Don't doubt yourself. Okay, so this has been your reading, pile number one. If you feel called to, please like and comment so that other people can find their readings from their person. Um, it would really help me a lot as well to be seen more in the algorithm as I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, if you feel called to, you can look in the description. I have all my links posted below. If you feel called to tip me or if you'd like to book a personal reading and go more in detail into this or anything else that you need clarity on. Thank you so much for pile number one and I hope you have an amazing, um, you know, healing journey. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs>
messages from a past loved one. We're going to get into it with some tarot cards first. The tarot cards are going to tell us who exactly this person is, hopefully. And then we'll get into some oracle cards for some messages, and it might also get some messages here as well. Um, that's just how pile one kind of came out. It kind of told us who it was, but we'll see what happens with your pile. Okay, so whoever this person was... I just heard they released a lot to get where they were in the end. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse, then the Four of Pentacles in reverse here, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. I heard they gave up something to gain something. Um, they had to walk away from something that wasn't serving them. I don't know if this will help you to tell who they are or not, but um, I'm assuming this was early on in life. That's what I just heard. Um, but doing this created this Four of Wands moment here where they were able to establish a home and foundation for themselves. Not only physically, but like emotionally. I'm really feeling emotionally. We have the Queen of Cups right after. This allowed them to seek fulfillment, is what I'm hearing. I don't know, maybe this was someone who left like a bad relationship or something. Some kind of situation in which they were carrying a lot of the weight. Um, a lot of burdens. And I think that they blamed themselves a lot for what happened as well. Even though they were able to go into this place of more fulfillment and happiness, they also still had this deep hurt in their heart. Um, but this justice in reverse, for some reason it's feeling more like a, like a judgment card. It's feeling like um, intense grief, really, and blame, kind of guilt feeling. But they had to go through this in order to move forward to this new life that they created. We have the Fool here and the Nine of Cups. Letting all of this toxicity go, leaving whatever it was behind that they had to leave behind. That created an opportunity for them to seek new enjoyment, is what I'm hearing. And also, the Nine of Cups, that's like a wish fulfillment card. That's like, um, like your wish could be granted type of card. However, afterwards, with this Five of Swords energy, and that's making me feel, ow, it's giving me a headache, actually. Uh, I think that there was possibly a betrayal after this occurred. Someone here or some situation betrayed them. Maybe even something they thought was a dream come true. Huh. But this catapulted them into this Queen of Swords energy and the King of Wands energy. We have the King of Swords and then the King of Wands. And together, they were able to find truth and passion with what lies ahead. 
first one. Interesting. You're a very giving person. A very generous person. I'm not getting like male or female or any kind of like any signifiers telling me relation or anything. So I hope you know who this is because I don't. Um, we also have the Nine of Swords here in reverse and the Three of Pentacles and then the Six of Pentacles. They released a lot of what was holding them back previously with the Justice card. They released a lot of that after this betrayal and stepping into this new energy. So, I'm really feeling like they were an extremely giving person because you have the Three of Pentacles here in reverse, but then also the Six of Pentacles here. They were very generous with their time, I just heard. Maybe not wealth, but time. Um, so yeah, maybe you know this person. Well, you do know this person because you picked this pile, but... I mean, if it doesn't resonate, then this might just not be your video. <laughs> or go pick another pal. Okay, so we're going to get some cards from them to tell us some messages. Oh, they already want to talk to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to tell the person you're trying to communicate with? You know what, actually, I kind of want to get the tarot deck again and see if I can... No, never mind, actually. I was going to see if I could pull a card to tell me if it was a relation card or something, but I just heard Spirit say it resonates with too many people to generalize it like that, you know? Um, so I'm guessing a lot of people will be watching this pile. So it's not going to be the same for everyone. Okay, anything else? Oh, okay. Anything from over here? Okay, a lot of cards. New messages came out really fast with those tarot cards, so I'm just going to see if there's anything else. Get as many things as we can for you. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting that this person wants to tell you Um, focus on your health for sure if you're going through a health journey I'm suddenly feeling super nauseous I don't know if anyone's been having nausea lately um, um, I just heard drink more water that could be for me too uh, yeah so if you're not drinking enough water, you should really get on it. Um, you need to. <laughs> um, we also have fertility here, though. So if any of you are trying for a baby, that could be for some of you, not many of you. And probably maybe no one. <laughs> but uh, if you are, you know, it could be that. But it could be also a project. Um, an idea, a creation, like you're birthing a new creation, a new journey. I'm really feeling the creation energy though. Um, some kind of project or something you're working on. 
because we have here fertility, but then we also have passion, right? And victory. Whatever it is you've been holding yourself back from, you should really not do that anymore. <laughs> should really try to work through those mindsets and don't hold yourself back. Walk away from what doesn't serve you, just like your past loved one did, and know that the universe has your back. Even things that betray us, like we had in the reading, can lead us to our higher good. And I just got chills with that. So that's confirmation from spirit right there. If you're afraid something is going to happen, something's going to go wrong, if I go down this path, if I choose this thing, if I leave this person, this situation, whatever, trust yourself that it's all going to work out no matter what happens. It will lead you to a stronger version of you. Okay. Um, we also have here strength. Again, so, you know, have the strength to to do what needs to be done. Um, we're also having this card here connect to heart, which is really kind of calling to me. As well as ancestors. This could, for some of you, be um, an ancestor or a family relation. But some of you, I'm really feeling like it's more of a friend or something. I don't really know. But connect with your ancestors um, if you feel called to. Connect to your heart. Connect to this person in particular, actually, is what I'm kind of feeling called to say. If you have a candle, you know, or, you know, just use your brain and meditate, you can, there are so many meditations online on YouTube, you can find a meditation in which you can connect um, to this person and talk to them or set the intention before you go to sleep. I want to dream of this person and be able to communicate in that dream freely with them. And that would be helpful too. Um, but we have here get wild. They want you to take that risk. They want you to go on that journey. And I think what's holding you back is maybe some word, word, <laughs> word, <laughs> like worthiness, um, things. Like maybe you don't feel like you're worthy of what you want, but they're saying here, have self love. Okay. I'm getting super cold with this reading, so I know I'm connecting very hard. Um, have self-love, okay? Right here. And this is going to lead you to your ascension and to manifesting. They want you to share this creation with the world. We have share wisdom. We have ascension, okay? You are going to be leveling up. When it comes to what it is in life you want and need and like your growth, like you're coming into your higher self, okay? But to do this, you need to take that risk and connect to yourself and know that you're worthy. Trust yourself. Trust that this is going to be okay. Trust that everything happens for a reason. Even when the thing is shitty and, like, we don't know what the reason is yet, everything happens, okay? Like, and I used to hate that saying because I had a lot of trauma growing up. And I thought, like, what would the reason ever be for this to have happened to me? Well, kind of, like, my whole life. But anyway, and then I realized I'm here to help people who have gone through the same things. Um... So yeah, if you hate that saying, like, maybe that will help you, but maybe not. But even if you hate that saying, like, just know that, like, the universe has your back. Or your friends have your back, if that's your higher power. Or, you know, who, whatever you fucking believe in, dude. Like, whatever you fucking believe in, just go for it. Just trust yourself, too. If you believe in yourself, if, you, if that's all you can muster right now, is, like, a tiny seed of self-belief, then believe that you can choose 
your own actions and know that you're not going to betray yourself, you know, unless you self-sabotage, but you can work through those things. Okay, so they really want you to just go after what it is that you want. And absolutely freezing. So you need to do this, okay? And you're going to be able to manifest whatever it is you want. Um, the little Nine of Cups card is peeking through right here. The little head is like peeking through. And that to me is like a sign that your wishes are going to come, come true. They're going to come true. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm really happy for you. I hope that you heed this advice and do remember to drink more water and eat healthy. Eat some fucking spinach for God's sakes. Um, and also if you feel called to, you can check out my links below. I have personal readings. I have a tour. You can tip me if you feel called to. Um, yeah, please comment so that other people can find their reading from their person because that's what YouTube likes. So please do that. Please like and comment. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more things like this because I'm going to be doing this every week on Wednesday at 3.33 p.m. CST. So thank you and I really hope that you heed this advice and that you like this reading. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, this person was really surrounded by a lot of people. Grandmother makes a lot of sense. Actually, the world card here, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse, but we also have Judgment. But then we have the world card, and this is kind of just feeling like, oh, okay. <laughs> I just heard grandmas know everything. So she's, see, she's like surrounded by everyone. Um, and it's like they're all like chatting with her. Like, I'm going to give you a description in case you can't see the card. But it's a feminine presenting person setting on top of a world, like a globe. And there's like these bubbles, um, like these like little circle and star pop-ups with people in them that are also mostly femme presenting. Um, speaking to her, like they're like telling her secrets or something. Like she knows all the tea. Um, that's interesting. And actually that really makes sense also because, yeah, I'm getting a really loud message right now. Whoever this person was, they were like the center of it all. You know what I mean? And we have the judgment card here with like the little trumpet. Like, the trumpet's really, I'm really drawn to that right now, and I'm really feeling like, I don't know, it's like, you know, like, when you get in trouble, and, like, you get in trouble with your parents, and it's one thing, but if you get in trouble with your grandparents, it's, like, a whole other level, I've been told. It's like, um, I don't know. Like, you don't want to disappoint your grandparents, but your parents, you're like, well, honestly, <laughs> Fuck off. I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> I don't know. That's just kind of the vibe I'm getting. But, yeah, then we have temperance. This person was very, very patient. Very patient. Very passionate as well. The Queen of Wands. Um, and yeah, what else do we have here? Let's see. We have the Chariot and the Emperor. Where is this coming from? Um, I'm feeling like someone had, I don't know why I'm getting such strong grandparent energies now. When before I thought I was having sibling energies. I don't know. But. It could be different for different people. You know. It's like. Not going to be just. One person for one person. This is a general reading. So take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. But. I'm getting a strong feeling. With this grandparent energy. That there was like a grandfather. But he left before his time or something happened maybe even a divorce or something I don't know but that's just kind of like the vibe I'm feeling and he was the king of wands and she was the queen of wands and he was the emperor and she was the empress I mean we have both of those cards and it's like kind of fascinating and they have, like, a very beautiful love story, I'm getting. Whoever this person was, they had a beautiful love story, um, I think, for some of them. But at the same time, there were a lot of burdens um, and responsibilities. The Empress, whoever this feminine energy is that we're talking to, that's who really held everything together. That's who really held everyone together. And I'm almost like looking at some of these cards like they're different family members. Like the chalices seem like very sibling, close situation. The three of chalices here with these three little mermaids like hugging each other. Whereas the little page of wands feels very young and like, you know, it looks like a little boy. And it feels like kind of like a little child energy. I don't know. 
Let me just see. Then we have the sun here, the nine of chalices, the lovers, and the magician right after each other. It's hard because I have so many cards here. Um, three of coins, four of coins, two of coins. A lot of pentacle energy. Someone was more well off later in their lifetime, financially. Sorry, I'm just trying to make out the messages because there's so much going on. We have the cup, we have the, is this the ten of cups? I believe it is. But in reverse, along with the Ten of Wands in reverse. That's interesting. Okay. This is crazy. We also have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords right after the other. I just heard broken but not forgotten. So there was some kind of split up in the family or something. I think that's what I'm kind of getting through with the Ten of Cups in reverse. There's so much here that's like, it's a bit jumbled. It's a bit jumbled. Like I can't really differentiate exactly what's what and what's who it's like this person just had so much they needed to get out that you just like spilled it out and it's like I'm now kind of like trying to put the riddle together interesting okay I'm receiving another message this is not going to be for everyone <laughs> This is not going to resonate for everyone, but I'm receiving a message that someone broke off in, from the family dynamic. I don't know if it was this person or a daughter or a son or something of theirs or who it was. They broke off from the family. to start their own family but then this left your grandmother or whoever this is huh god man I'm just struggling here it's like I don't know, it's like this Queen of Swords here. She just has such sad eyes. And it's like there's sadness hidden here, but yet all of these cards are like very positive, but there's sadness hidden within, if that makes sense. It's like I had to pretend to be happy. Yeah, I'm getting chills. I had to pretend to be happy, but really I was kind of dying inside like incredibly sad about this endeavor whatever this was where this like there was like a break in the family but like it was for like a positive thing I don't know um but she was just really kind of sad about it but emotionally she grew from this and she started focusing more I think on wills, maybe, and inheritances, possibly, um, something financially, maybe charity, giving, something with passion, but, like, she knew the money would go towards a greater cause. 
Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't really fully understand this message here about who this is, but hopefully you know who it is because you know them. I don't, um, let's see what messages they have for you though. These other decks. All right, well, whoever you are out there, they want you to know to believe in yourself, for sure. All for them. Yes. Okay. Sorry, these are not beautiful anymore. We're over here just like chaos reading, but it's fine. It is what it is, man. Sometimes it doesn't always look aesthetic. Never thought you'd probably hear that from a Libra moon and rising, did you? You know I'm gonna probably make aesthetic anyway. Okay. Okay, so whoever you are, you're very powerful. Um, but you need to have compassion for yourself. You need to start having more compassion for yourself. They want you to know you're incredibly unique. And they also want you to know that it's okay to set boundaries, okay? Whatever it is that happened in your past, your childhood, whatever, that made it to where you just let people walk all over you, they're telling you set boundaries. Love yourself first. Put yourself first because you know who the most, most important person is in your life? You. Without you, there is no you. And without you, you can't help anyone else. So you need to realize that. We also got the outlaw here. You may be kind of um, rebellious or like a risk taker. Or maybe you need to have those qualities. Like maybe you need to step into that energy a little bit. Um, but yeah. We got the outlaw card here, so that could be a confirmation for some of you. And then we got manifest and the creator right after the other. And that's like all about like manifesting your energy. Manifesting your energy. I mean manifesting your dreams. You could be manifesting your energy too though. Like if you there's a specific energy you need to feel in order to manifest something. I don't know. But know that you are the magician. The creator is the magician in this, you know, deck. It's like knowing that you can achieve anything, that anything is possible. Anything is fucking possible. We also got love here, psychic protection, and magical powers, as well as healing. You could be someone who's really into healing, or someone who might go down that path one day. We also got justice right after that. I'm really feeling like you may be called to be a spiritual healer or like teacher or something, um, something there for sure, but protect yourself. They want you to protect yourself. They want you to, um, know that you are magical, that you are powerful and that you can help to heal others and yourself and healing. You're never healed completely. Healing is just. Um, it's never ending. <laughs> it's 
never ending. It's never linear. Um, but they, they also have the harvest card here for you and victory. Whatever it is you want to go towards, this will bring you beautiful abundance and victory. Complete success. Because you also have the heavier success. And you've got knowledge. So I really am feeling like those hierophant type of vibes where you're like very knowledgeable, very um, spiritual maybe, um, a teacher, a leader, something of that nature. And then we also have here safe home. They want you to know that home is where you are, you know, it doesn't have to be a specific place. It doesn't have to be a specific person other than yourself. Um, if you feel like you've never had a home, I understand. I am literally homeless right now, <laughs> but I've come to learn that home is within myself, you know, and that's where it is for you too. You can connect and go deep into a meditation and kind of try to feel that. You could even like picture in your mind a safe place, um, create your own home in your mind if you can visualize, or if you can't visualize, maybe you can like um, draw it or something. I don't know. I'm not very good if you can't visualize. I'm really visual. Um, but yeah, they just want you to know that you're safe and you're taken care of and that wherever you go, they're going to be there for you. They're going to be there watching over you. And it's going to be a really beautiful endeavor for you. Um, so yeah, this was your reading. If you feel called to, you can book a reading with me in my bio. I mean, not my bio, my description box. Or you can tip if you feel called to. But please comment on this or like it if it resonated um, or if you liked it because that will help other people to find their messages from their loved ones. And I truly, truly appreciate you and I hope and wish you all the luck in your healing journey. And you've got this. I promise you. You've got this. Hello, pile number four. Um, you're my last but not least pile. Um, so let's see what your messages are from your person. We'll see who they are, hopefully, with these cards, and then we will get into some messages as well. With a couple of oracle decks that I have. Okay. So this person, at one point they were at a crossroads. At one point they had a choice between choice A or choice D, path A, path B. And it was quite a difficult decision. They had a lot of dreams about this path and whether they were going to follow it or not. Like they were really feeling called to one path and they would have dreams about the specific path. What's interesting is though, they didn't choose that path is what I just heard in my mind. So they went against their own intuition. Interesting. And it was all because I don't know why I'm feeling so strongly about this, but it was all because they felt as though it would be the least painful option. 
they had gone through this massive power moment previously, is what I'm feeling. And that's what led them to this path. Hmm. I'm just really trying here to understand what this is about. I don't exactly know what this is about, but I do feel like there were a lot of dreams involved. I always get so sleepy. I always get so sleepy whenever someone's been dreaming about something. Um, and I can tell you I was very energized before I pulled these cards. I've been doing two other readings before this and I don't get drained from readings. I get energized most of the time. Um, so, yeah. They left passion behind in pursuit of a solution to an obstacle, is what I just heard. Thinking this would bring them the abundance that they sought. There was a lot of pain. Someone had betrayed them previously, I think. Maybe. Or perhaps they betrayed themselves by carrying too many of everyone else's problems. And while this path did lead to less pain in the beginning, we have a lot more healing here. Oh, we have the Nine of Swords here. Oh. So we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse. And there was a lot of healing, a lot of, of this weight being lifted. But with the Nine of Swords in here, it was like they couldn't sleep. That's why I'm so tired. They couldn't sleep also. And I'm also hearing they had nightmares frequently from this. Um, something pretty major occurred. And I do feel like it, it involved another person, whatever led them to this. I feel like they... <sighs> I'm so exhausted from this. Okay. With the justice being in reverse here, and the Nine of Swords here, I feel like... And the Empress being reverse. I just heard they had to tell someone, but they didn't know who to tell. Very specific. Um, I think there was a situation in which um, there may have been some crime involved or something. It's kind of what the vibe I'm getting. Like maybe they went into protection, like witness protection or something. I don't know. Which is really weird. Because why would I be getting... I don't know. But... Yeah, so, you know what really makes a lot of sense though? I think they told the wrong person though. Possibly. I don't know. But they, okay, I'm getting chills. They fled the situation, whatever the situation was, whether it was protection or not. Um, they fled the scene. We have the tower in reverse. They were trying to build another foundation after this, you know, crisis had occurred. And they got to this new place. And they tried to pick off where they left off, you know. They tried to keep things going. Diligently do their work. But their fears, their fears were still there hidden deep down. And they always felt like someone was watching them. This is so specific. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if this doesn't resonate for you. Um, this is very specific reading. They had to be extremely strong to get through this. 
We have the moon and we have the strength card. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that. There were dogs barking and drinking water and it was just so loud. So we had to pause. Um, so from this new situation, they really tried to bury things down for a while, but their fears kept coming up. They kept coming to the surface. They kept being revealed to themselves through watching their back constantly, constantly feeling like someone was following them. I'm seeing like a woman looking over her shoulder as she's walking down the sidewalk kind of situation. So she could have fled like an abusive relationship or something. Um, I don't know. And she maybe chose the wrong path to go. You know, maybe she was deciding like, should I go for abundance or should I go for passion? And she chose abundance or something. Um, because I'm getting that she didn't choose the path she really wanted to. She kind of chose, I'm, I'm getting a she energy. This person chose the path that they thought would bring them more wealth and protection. And while they did gain a lot of strength from this situation, from, you know, going through something so massive, they also lost a lot of their passion and their patience for life because I think constantly feeling like you're being watched or, you know, something's about to happen, it can really make you feel very stressed out and really lose a lot of your passions for life. Um, so I don't know if that helps you determine who this is, but that's what they're telling me. So let's see what messages they have for you. Any messages. Four, pile number four. No person. Let's try this guy first. Yes. Any messages for pile number four? I do feel as though that they don't want you to do the same thing. They want you to chase your own passions. Any more messages for time before? Okay. I just want to talk through this deck. Maybe. We'll try the other deck again now. Anything from this deck now? Okay. More of similar cards here. Yeah, a lot of similar cards. Okay. So, it's funny, because we have surrender and then we also have letting go. So, we have here the warrior. They want to tell you first off, the first thing they want you to know is that you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing amazing. They're very proud of you. 
everything that you've been working towards is going to pay off. Um, we have here the seeker. I feel like you are someone who seeks the enjoyment out of life is what I heard. But also I feel like you are um, a seeker as in like that's what they call people who like are called to the craft, like witchcraft. Um, and I feel like you're very wise. We have the sage here and we also have knowledge. I feel like you're an extremely wise person. And they want you to tr to trust your intuition, okay? They don't want you to do what they did and not trust their intuition and their abilities and think, okay, this is going to be e the easier path for me. They want you to see how different you are, see how amazing you are, and trust your intuition and know that you can achieve anything. You have the Wildling here, the Alchemist. I feel like you are really into like the spiritual witchy community type of thing. Like maybe you're into herbs. I see some like crushing up herbs. Maybe you're into like holistic healing or something like that. Um, or maybe you're just really good at manifesting. I don't know. But they want you to trust whatever it is that your path is calling you to. So with the wildling here, I feel like you're someone who is really unique, who really stands out, who has like an adventurous side. They want you to trust that side. Don't just take the path that they, they took and think, oh, this is going to be the easier way. This is going to be the better way. Trust yourself and trust that the universe has you. I just heard a pillar of the community to trust and to hold. So we have the pillar here and I feel like you are someone who's important in your circle of friends or circle of people. You're very good at giving advice and helping people and they want you to know that like this is what you're called to do. You know like if, if this is what you're called to do this is what you should do. Like this is one of your purposes. I think you can have multiple purposes in a lifetime. We have surrender. We also have strength and the warrior here. You're so strong. You're doing amazing. Um, sorry, I'm getting like off topic here, but they just want you to know how sh fucking strong you are. Like you've been through a lot, I can feel. And they want you to surrender and let go of some of that pain, some of that hurt, some of those burdens that you took on for yourself. And... I'm also getting called to tell you to look into some psychic protection and maybe like some crystals for when you're sleeping because you have dream sweet, sleep deep. You could be receiving messages in your dreams as well. Um, and if you have nightmares or something, maybe that would help you to like put together a little bag or something. Um, it doesn't help everyone, but maybe it would help you. Um, we also have the magician here. You're incredibly powerful. The Magi. That's like the magician. So you're incredibly powerful. You can fucking do anything you put your mind to. And your purpose as well is to just have fun in life. You have the play card here, which is my favorite card. It's got two little dolphins on it. Um, have fun in life. Don't let anyone or anything hold you back. Realize you're the magician and that you can do anything. So, yeah, just fucking realize you've got this and keep going down this path that you've been going on. Um, or if you haven't started it, they're saying like, this is a great thing to go down. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Don't do what they did is what they're saying. Don't do what they did. Um, yeah. So if you like this reading, please like and comment so other people can find their reading. And if you feel called to, you can a little personal reading with me or to me with the, just the links in my description greatly appreciate it um any support you can give me um so yeah thank you so much and i hope you continue down this path and you do great things because i can feel it i can feel your really good energy to connect with and i hope i hear from you in the comments um yeah so thank you bye <laughs>